Yeah, Rabbi Pincus Taylor is here. He's the executive director of the American Faith Coalition. Rabbi, how are you, sir? Uh, I've been better, but uh, it's good to be with you, Mike. Yes. Uh, what do you make of that? People like that. The people's. It's not only a knee-jerk default position to be anti-Israel and, and pro-Palestine, therefore pro-Hamas in many ways, uh, but it's a, in some cases like a vitriolic hatred of uh, Israel and support of Hamas. What do you make? I mean, it's it's very sad. Um, it's very sad. It's it's very disheartening as well. We we finding it across the world, uh, across Europe in particular. Uh, we find large swaths of people doing that uh, in the United States as well, in academia, in the media. Uh, all of a sudden, when Jews are being killed, people make light of it and uh, want to blame the victim. And uh, it's it's very disheartening. And it's part of the overall war that is being faced. This is not just simply a military battle that is confined to Israel uh, responding to a terror attack that it had. This is this is a, a propaganda war. This is uh, a a an ideological war, uh, even a spiritual war, if you will. But uh, I'm confident that light will triumph over darkness and um, get us back to where we need to be. Help us understand why Israel is so important. And I ask this because we just gone the last year or so with many conservatives saying we we shouldn't care so much about Ukraine's borders with Russia. And now all of a sudden it's like, oh, we should care very much about Israel's border with the Gaza Strip. So it's more than geopolitics, though. So what is, what is special, important about Jews in Israel, Christians in Israel, and America in Israel? Well, I mean, on a, on a practical level for the United States, Israel is a, it does help with our national security. Israel has the best intelligence gathering network in the world and shares their information with the United States. Uh, there are a tremendous amount of geopolitical advantages with uh, America having an alliance with a country out in that region. Uh, so they're, they're, it is the only place in that region where the values and structure of the society is set up very similar to what we treasure and value in the United States. Uh, Israel is the only place in the Middle East that is pro-women's rights, pro-gun, pro-free speech, uh, pro-environment, pro-education, the free media. I mean, uh, the, these are reasons why it would be beneficial for the United States to be involved and uh, involved to a degree, but to support uh, Israel and its and its continued uh, existence in the region. But as far as as far as the the the, the people in in general in the United States, the United States is founded on values that are rooted in the Hebrew Bible, and that. That's not only from the Judaic world, that is also from that's something that Christians very much treasure. And being that uh, Israel plays such a key role to many religious faiths, Christian, uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, we want to try to keep it in a way that is going to be beneficial, that all people should be able to go to their uh, holy sites and observe their faith in the way that they um, are the, the way that it should be. Uh, many Christians in the United States have shown greater support to Israel than many Jews in the United States. Uh, for better or worse, that is that is reality. The idea is that uh, many Christians do realize that, like it says in the Bible, what God, God promises to Abraham, God promises to Abraham through Isaac and his, uh, his grandson Jacob, that I will bless those that bless you and those that curse you I will also curse and that all the nations of the world will be blessed through you. Many Christians and many many people in general of goodwill uh, have recognized that the that uh, assisting and and aligning themselves and being those that bless the Jewish people will themselves be blessed as well. Yep, that's right. Um, Rabbi, what should we do here now? People, individual people, not governments. What do people do? What do uh, you recommend Jews do and also uh, Christians and the rest? Well, that, that's, that's always been my focus. You know, this, this war is, is multi-layered, multi-leveled. There's, there's military situations, there's, there's political talks and discussions. But as an individual living in the United States, I think one of the powerful messages that, that, that not only Jews, but Christians and all people of goodwill uh, can take upon themselves, can understand for themselves, 
is that is, is a message from the Bible. When God creates the world, uh, the first thing that he creates is light. And he creates the human being in the image, uh, in, in, his, in his own image. God creates the human being in the, uh, in, the, in the image of God. And our job, our objective, like God, is when we're faced with darkness, which darkness came first, by the way, and God adds light, he, cre- he facilitates, uh, makes light in creation, his divine presence in creation. Our job as human beings created in the image of God is to also add light, that when we're confronted with a situation of darkness, we we need to focus on adding light, that's acts of kindness, that for the Jewish community, that might be strengthening your your observance or your connection, your your um, your with your heritage to to do a mitzvah, to do one of the commandments, to do something that is that is that that shows that 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 brings out your connection that you already have with your Jewish roots. For those in the Christian community, for the Muslim community, those of those of goodwill that want to help the situation, the the entire world of human, the entire world is. Uh, is all interconnected. The good things that we do over here uh, help what goes on on the other side of the world. So by by you and I, let's say reading a psalm sometime today, uh, by saying a prayer, by doing an act of kindness, we bring light not only to our immediate circle, but we help uplift somebody even on the other side of the world as well. Our focus must be on adding light, no matter who you are and where you are. We focus on the positive, we focus on adding light, and we got to bring some goodness uh, out of this terrible, dark situation. Rabbi Pincus Taylor, Executive Director of the American Faith Coalition. Rabbi, thank you, sir. Thanks so much. Please stay safe.